we woke up today and it's dry. There was a little bit of sun earlier, so now we've got everything out, trying to get everything dry from yesterday. Tent's dry. Shoes are still wet, but hopefully they'll dry during the day. So, yeah. Try and get on the road now and get to Erzing Kent today. That's the plan today. I'm sure we can stay in a hotel today. I'm looking forward to the hotel. I'm a bit cold and wet in Denmark. That'll be really nice. A bit yeah. cold this morning. I yeah. believe it's so hot in Denmark, it'll be freezing in Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. So that's the way it is today. So uh, we'll get the tent back tonight and we'll be on the road up there, another mountain to cross, 2,000 meters. So then down to Ezerum, Ezerkan. So. Yep. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Just come over 2,000 meter summit once again. This time for the first time in the sun. But no sign yet to say we're at the top, so we got more to go. I'm climbing well today, everybody. Good yeah. today, Jamie. Good, yes. good mountain climbing. Yes, today is a little bit better. Well, to make it feel because today it's sunshine. So yes. It's not so sad because yesterday it was sad and all our clothes were red. Okay, I want to say to everyone that have seen our video yesterday, maybe you can see it's a little bit easy, but in real life it's very difficult. So yes, but um, yeah, it's better weather, better weather today. But yesterday it was really rainy, so I'm enjoying the room a little bit better than yesterday because yesterday we was wet and it was very difficult and there was snow on the road and there was actually a tree with the fire in so maybe it's a lightning that hit me so yes so yesterday it was very bad weather and we didn't get to the actual top it's a little bit further to go so we'll get back on the bike incredible mountains here just before as it can wild, remote landscape. Oh, this is a long, slow crawl up the mountain here. It's been going on for a long time. It'll be a long downhill all the way to Izikan this afternoon. So, the road's still climbing. I mean, sort of 14 kilometers now up. Back at 2,100 meters. Hopefully, soon we're near the top. Well, we made it to the top of another mountain, 2,160 meters this time. So that was a long slog, 14 kilometers uphill. <laughs> that was tiring and slow. This will be lots of times. Uh, Denmark, uh, we have not so big hills in Denmark, It's we have only small hills mm. in Denmark. 160 meters, I think. What is snow done? But we haven't come up from zero. Today. Oh, no, no, no. Remember that? Yeah. But it was still 14 kilometers uphill, so it's been, it was a bit hard. Mm. Yeah. But now, hopefully, it should be down in all for a while. So let's see if we can get now.
2018 kilometers downhill. We're actually not all the way down yet, but uh, that's pretty wild. So, some really big mountains around here. It's warmed up again. Oh, it's nice and warm now. Sun's shining, so that's better. So, we'll see if we find a place for lunch now. This is just heaven. Nice and warm. You feel the heat from the sun start to dry out all our shoes and everything and have our lunch here on the carpet oh that's what we needed after two or three days in the cold so and we're not far from Ezekan so just have to roll the last 10 kilometers into the town in a few minutes and then uh, try and find a hotel so. very nice for that out fantastic mm. yeah feel the heat from the sun again a few quite a few days ago we've done that so yeah As usual, the afternoon storm seems to be building up straight ahead. <laughs> See if we can get into the town before we get completely wet. So far it's dry. It looks a very dark straight ahead. Yeah, this is a city surrounded by huge mountains on every side. The centre here different looking town to the other towns we've seen in Turkey. Hotel in Middle. Just trying to find a hotel here in Izikan. I think we've been on the road for nine days now, so it's time for a bit of a rest and wash your clothes and all this kind of stuff again one more time. So turned up here. Paradise Hotel. It's got some quite good reviews. But, uh, just to see if we can negotiate a good price for travellers like us. Okay. okay, so now we're in a completely different style of uh, hotel that we haven't seen before in Turkey yet. It's quite a modern place. Yeah, it looks very nice. European and now we're sitting in a nice uh, garden here. And we have just had cappuccino. We haven't had that since Greece where we had cappuccinos all the time. But we haven't been able to have that in Turkey. There's been tea, Nescafe or Turkish coffee. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about you have to enjoy the things you can get by you can get them because all of a sudden then you can't get, the, get it anymore. No, that's true, that's true. And also here in Turkey we have hardly had beer or wine or nothing. It's very rare, but I do heard that you can get beer in this hotel. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, just read on the internet, it's the only, the only restaurant in this town that sells beer. <laughs> so, we'll see. If it's, uh, is it Friday? No, it's Saturday. So, yeah. yeah. So I think we'll... Uh, We'll have a, a resting day here tomorrow, get all cleaned up again, clean our clothes and other things we have to do. Talked about hammam, I'm not sure whether there's a hammam here, we'll see. If we, if we dare risking the, the massage guy. <laughs> Mr. Torture. So, so Okay, that's uh, where we are now. We'll uh, go into our room and start uh, in the shower. Next job. Okay. Finished. Bye bye. See you too. Have a look at the menu here. Actually, the first time they actually sell pizza here. It looks like a real pizza. The Venus need some. In Germany. Seen, huh? well, just... no, I haven't seen that for ages. No. Now I start dreaming about potatoes. I haven't had that for a long time. Normally I'm not so keen on potatoes, but I think I could just eat potatoes and yeah. think so. First time we've seen a menu that doesn't actually include kebabs on every page. Yeah. So. Uh, this just looks a bit, uh, even though we're getting quite far east in Turkey now, the... Oh, ice cream! Mm -hmm. And cake! Oh, it feels some a little bit England and... Uh, <laughs> oh, what a surprise! It's something that looks like uh, kind of yeah. yeah. It's like things we recognize from home. <laughs> this is a shopping street in Asinkan. As you can see, completely different style to what we've seen anywhere else in Turkey. It's even a pizza restaurant over there. Amazing. Okay, should we go and get something to eat? Yes, yes okay. please. I think it's going to be pizza. We haven't seen that for a long time. Oh, we're just here getting refilled with pizza and chips. A long time ago we've seen that. We just noticed in this town, well in this restaurant as well, there's not many of the girls that are wearing headscarves, we just noticed. And, uh, but uh, nobody here, even though it's Saturday evening, nobody here is drinking beer or alcohol. No, only tea, like we've seen everywhere. 
town's got a different feel to the others, but uh, interesting to see. It's more fancy here, but the Konya was more religious. Mm. Not so far, but so far it looks a little, little bit different here, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Seems a bit more European here for some reason. Yeah, we expected the opposite. Yeah. The further east we get, we expected it to be more conservative, but no, it's not. It's Interesting. Okay, this is a very cheap ice cream. It's only four and a half uh, Danish money kroners. So four and a half kroners. Yeah. And in Mostar it was eight kroners from, uh, for two balls. But here it's two balls from four and a half Danish kroners. So it's very cheap here. Very cheap. Okay, so now we're in a hotel here in uh, Helsingkan. We've um, just spent a little bit of time on the computer, just sending the final itinerary to Iran so we can get uh, all the hotels booked. Now we actually decided we're going to enter Iran on the 29th of June, so, uh, and also sent an application to Turkmenistan so we can get the visa application started there as well. So. Yeah, a few practical things we have to get doing, done, and um, but, uh, that's done now. So uh, tomorrow we'll stay here, have a rest, and uh, yeah, just normal practical things, normal Sunday, weekend day, have a rest before we get back on the bikes again, and we'll be heading to Ezerum. So tomorrow we'll stay here in Ezinkan, have a look around. Okay, see you tomorrow.